while back, I did a video on uh, do-it-yourself zinc plating or zinc plating on the cheap. I forget what the title was now, but it become uh, fairly popular on YouTube for zinc plating videos. And here is the dummy part that I plated in that first video. Now, uh, for those of you who have seen the video, uh, you remember this thing. Uh, looked a little bit different because the back end's all rusty here. But for those who haven't seen that video, I will put a link in the description so you can see how to do the plating. Uh, the reason I'm doing this uh, um, video here now is an update. After I did that original video, I wanted to test just how good this plating actually worked at, for corrosion protection, which is its an entire purpose, that uh, the zinc plating and chromating is for corrosion protection, of course. And, um, it, you know, it was just a steel rod I got on my toolbox, and I had machined the end. The end was very cleanly machined to, I think, 5 sixteenths, or, yeah, it looks like 5 sixteenths. It's so rusted now, it's hard to tell. But see how scaly that is? It looks horrible. Now, what I did was, after I made the video, it sat in my shop for a couple weeks, and I thought, well, you know, why not set this outside and see just how well this plating works? So you can see here, it's been sitting outside since, I don't know, I think sometime in early March or I think maybe middle, early March. And now it's the end of July and we've had a lot of rain this year, a lot of humidity, and it just tore this thing up. It's, and you can see here, get a close up of this, just how scaled that is. And then look at the zinc plating right here. It didn't even touch us. I mean... I mean, it might have a little bit, and of course, down here is where I didn't dip it in the uh, the chromating. That's why it's still silver. But you see, that is pretty much unfazed. And I've even had uh, commercially available like bolts and stuff like that sit out to summer, and even they are starting to corrode. Uh, and they're zinc plated. But this, on the other hand, has stayed completely intact. The end there looks fine. I uh, didn't polish that or. or blast or um, vapor blast that when I was doing this like I did this surface so I just wanted to show you that to show you that um, the video on zinc plating if you do that uh, that is it is a real process and it does what it's supposed to and if you do that you will have parts that actually will not rust if you do it correctly okay until next video I will see you guys later